Hello, everybody. Uh, thank you for joining me again. It's Eli here. Um, I um, We're going to create a, a Christmas card. So, uh, so it was requested, it was requested that I uh, create a Christmas card and that I'd incorporate the um, the Holy Family into the image. Um, this was a request by um, one of one of the uh, channel subscribers. So thank you very much for your um, suggestion, and uh, we'll create this uh, right now. So um, let's take that back a step. I, I've uh, I've kind of arranged a few images and a few searches to incorporate into this, but. First and foremost, we what I did here, I created a new file, a new image, and under the templates, I created an A5 image. But we do want it in landscape. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to uh, image transform rotate 90 degrees. Okay, so now we have that. So um, the we. We want to put a guide. If you if you go to the ruler and drag, a cl click and drag across, it, it helps you bring a guide into the um, into the image. We're going to put a guide halfway because that's the folding point of the card. Okay, so it's going to be a card that gets folded over. Now, if I go to if I just have a look at the end here, um, that's not that white thing's not really centered, is it? Um, that's okay. We can delete and created later. Um, so anyway, uh, let's have a look at this. Um, over here, oh, let me zoom out. If we have a look at where the, we could put this guide over here, that's saying um, 209 or 210, let's say. Half of that is a 105, so we could put the guide at 105. Uh, about there okay so that's the halfway point um, the guide will it clips and it lets you um, just work out how to position things so I've done a search for old paper um, this kind of looks good um, I'd like to use a bit of a background here um, let me see if I can paste that in um, Oh, we're not going to be installing anything like that. Uh, let's close that and um, can we? Up oh, that just took a while to to uh, come up. But okay, so we've got it. We've downloaded it. Um, mm, f some thoughts here. It's probably a little bit too dark, so I'm going to brighten it up a bit. Okay, so just probably about there. I don't like this darker little spot here so I'm just gonna go over it like that don't like that bit there either or that bit there okay now um, we want to put a image uh, and of course you can choose any image you like but um, I did a couple of searches just beforehand for uh, some some Merry Christmas messages and for some pictures of the uh, Holy Family and here it is and uh, I can just add this here and when I do so, um, I, I want to make it look a little bit like that's kind of a window. So I'm going to add a 3D effect. Um, so I'm going to select, the, here's a trick. I'm going to select everything. So that's a control A selection, or you can say select uh, all, same, same thing. That's selected everything in the current selected layer. So that there's a selection around this box here. Now, if I select something else, uh, I've lost that selection. Isn't that interesting? I was hoping that that selection would remain. So if I select everything here and then, okay, that changes. See, so I'm working this out as we're going along, but what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna just basically make a selection or actually there's an easy way. Uh, alpha to selection, that selects everything in the layer. Now, if I choose something else, now I've selected the greater layer, 
and it but it's got a selection around the original so I'm going to press Control I which inverts the selection you can do that by going to select invert here same thing now it's inverted the selection one thing I can what, what I'm going to do here now is I'm going to press the delete button which I oops um, let me No, I'm not going to delete. I'm going to press copy and paste. So now I have a new layer. Let me just show you the layer on its own that, that has that. That's at the top. Yeah. So put that at the very, very top so that if I add a drop shadow to it, it creates a bit of depth on top of this image. Um, preview let's have a look okay let's lessen that let's remove the some of the blur the glow radius can go up so I'm going to make sure that that goes up a little bit uh, the opacity okay there we go reduce this opacity a little bit okay see how we're starting to get a little bit of a window uh, being created so that that's a that's a neat little trick um, now for a, a nice Merry Christmas message over here now you can of course choose a lovely font that will go here and for this sort of stuff I'd recommend a script kind of a font so if I um, by the way you can kind of write whatever you want to write here Let's just write a Merry Christmas message. Select it, then go to the font uh, tab here. And as you scroll through the fonts, you can see that being uh, immediately in effect. So I'm gonna choose a nice script like font. Maybe this, okay? So I'm gonna make it bigger. See if I can fit it all on, yeah, okay. Now, now that I've got it all there, um, one thing, of course, not gonna look good in black. Uh, I can either, to maintain the texture of the, of the, of the paper, make it look like it's burned into the paper. Uh, maybe not so much that, but a linear burn and then reduce the, or um, overlay and uh, intensify it, maybe even duplicate it. Uh, another option would be to, let's put it in gold text. Uh, the way I would achieve that would be by, Let me duplicate that layer so I have a, the original copy. Um, let's add a gold gradient to it. There it is. There's a golden gradient which is already kind of in GIMP. Now what we can do is alpha to selection so that there's a selection around everything in there that is not that, that is visible. I'm going to move. Well, I'm going to drag, actually, I'm going to use the gradient tool here um, and mode, no, not mode, radial. That's that's the direction of the, of the gradient. A radial is like a circular, and you'll see how that comes across. Um, let me see this. Press enter. That's done absolutely nothing, and I'm not entirely sure why that has done nothing. Oh, it's on, of course, it's on linear burn. I didn't change it back. Let me just change these back. Okay, let's try that again. 
Okay, now we have a nice golden thing happening. Let's do it to there. Okay. And uh, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a drop shadow for it. Uh, because we've used that effect before, I'm just going to probably just repeat mm, too much. Uh, let's show the drop shadow. Uh, put it over here. Less blur radius. Move it a little bit down like that. Probably needs to be lighter. The whole thing needs to be lighter. Great, that's uh, shiny and Christmassy like. There you go. So there's a nice Merry Christmas message at the top. Um, let's put a border that is consistent with that um, golden thing. Um, the way I'm going to do that, I'm going to alpha to selection on the original image so we have that selected again. But now what I'm going to do, I'm going to say, all right, let's grow that by um, 20. Ah, oh, that's too big. Undo. Um, let's select, let's grow that again by, oh, that's doing it by millimeters, not by pixels. Okay. Let's go by pixels and let's do 20 again. Let's see what that does. Okay, so it's created a selection on the outside there. Uh, I'm going to redo that. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. So um, grow by let's grow the selection by 35. Oh, that's a millimeters again. Damn it. Select grow. Let's choose pixels. 35. Click OK. All right, we have a selection out there. Now what I can do is with that selection, I can say, let's create a border from it. Um, and Let's get rid of the pixels again. So let's say the border is going to be four pixels wide. Click OK. Oh, that hasn't done anything there. Let's, let me just do that again. I may have selected something else. Okay, border, pixels, four. Click OK. All right, that's created a, a, a border out and out. Well, what I need to do with that is just fill it in with something. So I'm going to create a... Um, a new layer, transparent, because that's what I'm going to draw um, this whole thing on. Um, okay, I'm just basically reapplying the gradient to that selection. Press enter. Now there's a nice little border for that fit right there. So, um, that's good. I can now uh, write another message down here. Uh, let, let me grab the original Merry Christmas text. I had made a copy of it, so I can just bring it down here and say something in smaller text. Let's do 65, 35 or something like that. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Okay, there we go. So now um, we can, I'd probably, t again for consistency, I'd probably um, make it the same golden style. So again, I'll do alpha to selection here and I'm going to apply this gradient tool. 
going to say, okay, go like that, like that. And then to be consistent with the original, I'd probably add a drop shadow again. But yep, yeah, okay, let's do that. Okay, just a little bit, because the text is smaller, you don't wanna uh, make it look busy. Now I'm gonna also make it a little, make it brighter as I did before. So as such, and let me just see if I can reapply the, um, oh no, never mind. Okay, levels. Probably apply the same level. Um, just playing with the levels, and I basically drag both corners in to make it a little bit more contrasted from this side and that side. You see how that's kind of given that effect. And over here again, you can use similar concepts to create similar um, similar images, but um, or similar kind of text around here, depending what you want to put. But this is of course the outside of the card. What's on the right is going to be the back of the card. Um, I've kind of done it. I know I realize I've done it the wrong way around. Um, I, I should have all of these things uh, on the other side of this. Um, <laughs> so if you do want to do it, um, what you want to do is select this, cut that side. Let me just delete these. See, we all we all make mistakes, and I didn't prepare this beforehand. Um, we we don't we don't all believe it or not. We we don't always prepare. We just create these videos and create these things on the fly. Um, so I've cut the right side, put it onto there, and um, and now I can say image fit canvas to layers. Um, Okay, because of the drop shadow, that didn't work so well, but I can um, crop it to that. So let me just fix that very quickly. I've put a selection around that. Image cropped selection will do that. So even with, uh, with the mistakes that I am making, there's, there's things to learn, um, you know, so that's this side, the back side, that's the thing. And because these are different now, you have a folding point as well for it. So I hope that um, that helps. Leave me a comment if you need anything else. Um, I did kind of just do this. I, had, I didn't really have it prepared other than, than preparing a few of the images. One of the things I did search up beforehand though was um, a Merry Christmas message that you can use. So when you Google search for things uh, such as look, f such as a Merry Christmas header, look for select transparent for the color. So over here, normally it's just any color, but under tools, you can say transparent and therefore it'll find you all PNG. So let's just say I grab this copy and I can paste it. Uh, and that's got the transparency already set. I don't need to cut anything out. And I can put that, excuse me, let me put it up to the top. I can put that over down here. And again, I can select another thing here. I can choose this, copy, paste. Because these are PNGs, they're already kind of cut and you can just put them anywhere you want. So, you know, um, there's some really good ideas for you there as well. I could have just used a, Merry Christmas from, from Google and just added it there very, very easily. Um, you've got options. Thank you very much for watching and uh, leave me a comment if you need anything or if you learned anything or you have any questions, uh, please feel free to. And if you have suggestions for a future um, gig, also please do let me know. Thanks for watching.